Hello, hello, hello. What we're going to do, I'm going to make a quick video tutorial on how to um, do like a muffled sound um, when it comes to um, uh, like audio. You know, when you walk by a building, it's like, oh, the sound's coming from inside that building. Um, it's, it's not doesn't it's not too complicated, but it's hard to explain. Um, so this is just uh, we'll play the original song here. Kind of catchy. That's the original. So uh, I'm using Audacity. It's free. It's it does most basic stuff that you need with audio um, functions and whatnot. If you're using uh, Audacity, the first thing you want to do is um, go to your plugin manager and scroll down to classic filters. Make sure you have that enabled. Um, if you don't use Audacity for your audio stuff, that's fine. Um, but what you're going to want to do is in whatever software you look for, you're going to look for uh, what's called a low pass filter. Um, so if I go to classic filters, you can see there's, you know, uh, what, what you want to make sure you do have it set to in Audacity is the Butterworth type and then the low pass filter. The cutoff, you can modify that however you see fit. Uh, I put mine to 300. Uh, I'd say anywhere from like 300 to 600 the lower you go the more effect it has essentially um over simplifying things there but um yeah so what we'll do is we'll apply that now um and then we will play that again here and you can you'll be able to hear it a little bit you see guy you can hear that it's kind of like that that muffled sort of sound which is all well and good but it's still to me at this point, it still sounds a little too uh, crisp. What I like to do here is I like to give it um, reverb, which is it's it, it adds the um, sort of echoey bouncing off of the environment effect in a, in a sense. Um, and in Audacity, I just used the default settings just to try it. And I thought, oh, that actually doesn't sound that bad. Um, so I apply those and we'll listen to it again. It's, it's a subtle difference. What I think if you're, depending on what you're going for, um, I think it's, it's important to add that. And in fact, you can add, you can do like a, whoops. You can do the reverb twice. Um, if I mean, I just use the default again. And um, what I'll do as well, I don't know if it'll let me. Um, yeah, I figured. No, no, it'll it'll do that. Okay, so this is the original, right? And then we go back to uh, this one, and now you can hear the difference. So, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, one thing you're likely going to want to do as well is reduce the volume uh, of it uh, a little bit um, just to, to continue the uh, idea that, you know, it's, it's inside. So let's say, you know, you're walking by blah, 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 uh, walking by this building and then somebody, you know, suddenly opens the door and then it, it, it changes from one to the other. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty uh, cut and dried, straightforward. How to make your stuff muffled. The sh the, there's basically three things you want to do. You want to add a low pass filter. Um, I, I mean, I showed you how to do it in Audacity, but most audio software will have something um, similar to that. A low pass filter, um, changing the, the hertz, uh, the, the lower the number, the more oomph it has. Um, and then depending on your tastes, you can add some reverb and then obviously you'd want to turn the actual uh, output volume down to lower the volume, right? So there you have it. Uh, if you got any questions, just let me know.